Welcome, I'm Guy Lohman, and I'll be your guide for a brief but exciting tour of the Informix Warehouse Accelerator and the Blink technology on which it is based. Blink was invented and developed by my group at IBM Research's Almaden Research Center in San Jose, California. The problem with today's processing of business intelligence, or BI, queries is that performance is just too unpredictable. When an analyst submits a, a BI query, she doesn't know whether it will run for a few seconds or a few days. If the right performance layer of indexes and materialized views has properly anticipated that query, it may run in seconds. Without the right indexes or materialized views, that same query may take hours or even days, depending upon the data volumes. But BI querying is inherently ad hoc. An analyst will typically formulate her next query based upon the results of the previous query. So it's almost impossible to anticipate the workload by looking at past queries and hence to anticipate the performance layer that will handle all possible queries the analyst might submit in the future. The Blink Project's ambitious goal is to rectify this high variance in response times by answering all business intelligence queries even ad hoc queries in mere seconds, regardless of the database size, and so permit analysts to truly interact with the data. So what is Blink? Blink is a completely new main memory database system developed by IBM Research to exploit emerging hardware trends. It speeds up read mostly BI query processing by at least an order of magnitude without having to tune the queries by selecting the best indexes, materialized views, or other performance enhancers. IBM has already filed over 25 patent applications on Blink technology, which is at the heart of the Informix Warehouse Accelerator and which I'll describe in a minute. Blink was designed and built from the ground up to exploit several important trends in hardware technology that are disrupting the entire computer industry. Commodity multi-core processors and fast networks connecting them, larger and cheaper main memories, and the increasing gap between the time to access data in memory versus the time to move a disk arm. Blink is disruptive because it exploits all these trends by starting with a clean slate, departing from three major tenets that database system designers have pretty much held sacrosanct for the last four decades. The first major tenet is that one couldn't fit a useful amount of any large data warehouse into main memory. So it was presumed that data warehouses had to be on disk, and disk dominated our thinking about costs and performance, data placement, and administration. Disk was the 800-pound gorilla that could not be ignored and we put all of our energies into trying to minimize it for good reason, as the gap between DRAM and disk ARM latencies grew by exponential amounts. The disruption here is that cheap main memories and increasingly flash memory, when aggregated over a large number of commodity machines, start to look pretty substantial, particularly when the data is compressed. For example, a blade center can hold well over a terabyte of compressed data in real memory. There seems to be no immediate barrier to this trend continuing. As a consequence, many data marts in today's enterprises and some entire data warehouses of smaller enterprises can begin to fit in main memory database. When the disk bottleneck is removed, it is of course replaced with a new but faster bottleneck which seems to be the memory bandwidth, that is, the speed of moving things from DRAM into the processor's cache. And since DRAM is byte addressable, there is no preferred access path, as there is in disk. The second major tenet of databases, held for decades, was that the only way to scale up to really large databases was via indexes and pre-computing and then materializing frequently accessed data in materialized views, cubes, etc. As a consequence, we needed an optimizer to choose among these various performance enhancers, and we needed a four-star wizard, the DBA, to choose which of the many enhancers to create and maintain. To do that, we had to anticipate what queries might be posed in the future, 
usually using historical workloads that were assumed to be indicative of future workloads. This is a very questionable assumption in BI, which is inherently ad hoc. The disruption here is that massive parallelism made possible by legions of commodity multi-core processors can divide and conquer large databases so that scanning the data for every query becomes not only possible but desirable when accessing more than just a few records. Blink always scans the tables referenced in every query, giving more consistent response times. This eliminates the need for any indexes or materialized views that legacy databases need to perform well, as well as any optimizer to choose among them. The user need only specify which tables to copy to the accelerator. All this significantly reduces the complexity and tuning needed, and hence the total cost of ownership. Lastly, the third tenet is that for many years, we thought that a main memory database system was really little different from a standard disk-based DBMS with a buffer pool large enough to obviate any disk IOs. But what we have discovered in building Blink is that clever engineering exploiting main memory de resident data can do far, far better. Examples are given in the next slide describing Blink's secret sauce. The disruptive technologies that Blink blends in its unique secret sauce provide breakthrough performance for the Informix Warehouse Accelerator, a main memory accelerator for Informix. The accelerator stores data in column major order, perfect for BI processing, while Informix still stores data in row major order, perfect for transactional processing. Blink's patented dictionary compression permits huge databases to be completely memory resident, not only avoiding costly disk IOs during query processing, but also making more efficient use of the processor's memory bandwidth and cache utilization. Data in the accelerator is partitioned by its frequency of occurrence, facilitating efficient compression, partition elimination, and load balancing. The extreme compression permits most query processing to be performed on the compressed data, making more efficient use of all processor resources. In fact, data is compressed so small that the accelerator can typically set many data values side by side in registers and process them simultaneously with vector instructions, achieving a third layer of parallelism called single instruction multiple data, or SIMD parallelism. Note how each ingredient of this sauce enhances the others to improve your performance. The Informix Warehouse Accelerator contains a compressed copy of a portion of a data warehouse that is managed by the Informix database server. It can be configured to run either in the same or a separate network attached machine as in the Informix host. However, the user doesn't really see this accelerator because it has no externalized interfaces. Once the user has defined the tables of interest to be accelerated, a bulk loader automatically extracts a copy of that data from the data warehouse and pipes the data to the accelerator, which analyzes and compresses it in parallel for storage in the memory of the worker nodes of the accelerator. The assignment of that data to individual worker nodes is completely arbitrary and not controllable by the user. Once the data has been so loaded, any SQL query that references that data will be routed to the accelerator automatically by the Informix optimizer, where that, data, that query will be executed on the accelerator's compressed data in memory rather than on the Informix host. The coordinator node of IWA broadcasts the query to each worker node, each of which then processes that query on its portion of the data. The coordinator then receives back the partial results from each worker node, assembles the results, and returns them back to the host DBMS and thence to the user. Note that, any use, that users need not make any changes to their SQL queries to get Informix's optimizer to route the SQL query to the accelerator. It simply has to reference a subset of that data that has been loaded into the accelerator. So, how much does Blink's secret sauce really speed up performance of the Informix Warehouse Accelerator? A lot. At least an order of magnitude, and often two orders of magnitude, 
versus existing database technology for all kinds of customer BI workloads across industries. Queries that used to run in hours or minutes now consistently run in mere seconds, the speed of thought. The worst of the speed up, the worst speed up of these workloads enjoyed an 8,900% improvement. This performance comparison to two columnar competitors of Informix was performed by an Informix customer, a large retailer in the Asia Pacific region, not IBM. It tested a simple data mart with just three tables. The total original data size was 83 gigabytes, which IWA compressed to about 16.1 gigabytes, a 5 to 1 ratio. The competitor's measurements, however, were done on only 58 gigabytes of data. Despite that advantage, you can still see that IWA always performed better, significantly better, more than two times. I had to put numbers on the IWA bars in red so you could make some of them out. They're so small. In conclusion, radical changes in hardware necessitate radical changes in software architecture. Blink is such a radically novel architecture, a main memory special purpose accelerator for SQL querying of business intelligence data marts that exploits these hardware trends. It also exploits pro proprietary order preserving compression techniques that permit SQL query processing on the compressed values and evaluating multiple predicates on multiple columns simultaneously using cache conscious algorithms. As a result, Blink can process queries in simple scans that achieve near uniform execution times, thus speeding up the most problematic queries the most without requiring expensive indexes, materialized views, or any sort of tuning. This simplification is the best way to lower administration costs and hence the total cost of ownership while still enjoying truly interactive analytics at the speed of thought. If you'd like more technical details about the Blink technology upon which IWA is based, these papers in the academic literature have been refereed by the world's leading experts, unlike the usual white papers of our competition. However, we also have a white paper and an ebook introducing IWA as well as a website for downloading a free version of IWA so you can sort of kick the tires and verify for yourself how unbelievably fast this technology really is. Thanks for joining me today. We appreciate your interest.